Hello and welcome to Computer Science. I will take you through some reasons why you might want to choose to study this course, um, what's involved in this course and where it, where it might take you. We have some very successful results in this subject and a passion for teaching future computer scientists. This um, video will take you through a wide variety of careers that computer science can take you. So this slide aims to give you um, a wide variety of options that you can go on to using computer science in your future careers. The YouTube link there is available to see how you can use computer science in all of these aspects from agriculture and farming to fashion to energy and to medicine most importantly at the minute. So computer science really is changing everything. As shown on the previous slide, computer science is required for any career. Any career requires problem solving, logical thinking, being creative and innovative. This is where computer science comes in. Whatever career you're thinking of going into, whether it's gaming, farming, fashion, building, cyber security, whatever it is you're thinking of doing, computer science can help you get there. The future of any career is changing thanks to the world of computer science. Here's my year 12 to tell you why they've chosen computer science. Hi, I'm Ben. I took computer science because I want to study cyber security at A level. Hi, I'm Matthew Stowe. I took computer science for the programming aspects of it and I like making stuff. Hi, I'm Damien and I took computer science because I like learning about the hardware that makes a computer work. As I've said previously, we've had a huge success rate with our students moving forward and getting good A-level results in computer science. Onwards from there, they have gone on to do cyber security, computer science further, they've done games production, they've done link to maths, economics, they have taken computer science in many different locations and many different areas. So those of you who are already studying at GCSE for computer science will notice this chart looks very, very similar to the GCSE. Obviously, there's a bit more involved in that, but the basis of what we go into for the A-level is all there. Everything that we do for Unit 1 and Unit 2. The extra thing that's added on is the programming project, which does count towards your A-level and is worth 20% of the overall A-level. And that's a project that you can have your own spin on. You can have your own input, your own ideas, and we'll look at that next. To study computer science at A-level, we don't actually have any requirements. We have suggestions. We suggest that you have a computer science at GCSE at level four or above. And as well as that, we also feel that maths is a huge part of computer science and links very well into it and is covered quite a bit at both maths and computer science. They link in very well. So we suggest that you do have a level four or five at least in maths as well for GCSE. Due to using Python as our main programming language at GCSE, we do continue this forward into the A level, which gives students the confidence to carry this on. But also we do look at other languages and use other languages so we program websites in html and css and we also do a lot of database work programming with sql as well so the programming project is worth 20 percent of the a level you get complete ownership on this you get to choose what language you use you get to choose what problem it is you solve so you could take your hobbies you could take your interests and produce a programming project to suit you. Here are some ideas. So you could do some games, you could do a pizza delivery fuel system calculator, you could do a sports day scoring system, you could do something towards mental health, being aware. Anything is possible in this programming project. Our students have been very lucky to get involved in other industries alongside being at A levels at Saltash School. One of them did their work experience at Software for Cornwall, where they worked in groups to build and program robots, which essentially did loads of different missions like it would on Mars. We also took the students to Plymouth University to the robotics lab, where they could discuss with 
the students there and the lecturers there and get support with their chosen projects. Here are the Year 13s to tell you why they enjoy computer science. Okay, tell me your favourite part of computer science so far. Okay, so my favourite part so far has been learning a different style of programming called object-orientated programming, which is different to what we learnt uh, lower down in the school. I personally prefer the um, Boolean algebra side of it because it's quite a lot like maths, but way more interesting. There's a lot to it. My favourite part is coding with HTML to make websites and now I'm doing my MEA using it. Thank you.